This battle is scheduled for one 10 minute round. First, out of the red corner, representing KMAA in Knoxville, Tennessee, James Adcock. And his opponent across the cage to my right out of the blue corner, representing Nashville, MMA out of Nashville, Tennessee, Charlie C4 Alexander. Your effort in the action begins is Barry O'Neill. Barry O'Neill, our referee in this pro grappling bout, one 10 minute round. And for those that are not familiar, Casey, take us through the rules and some of the differences. Well, it's gonna be one fall. And then if it goes the distance, it's gonna be up to Mr. O'Neill to make the decision. Now it's gonna be based on aggression. Uh, you Obviously we start on the feet, you're gonna be looking for takedowns, you're gonna be looking for the dominant positions and submission grappling. That is uh, the uh, from the top, the cross body, the full mount, the rear mount. And, uh, and then again, looking for those submissions. Submissions are paramount here. James Adcock in the black trunks are very close in color. He's on the right. Charlie Alexander in the smoky gray, maybe even a dark blue and white on the left in one 10 minute round. And you see Alexander here putting the pressure on. Now, if you were to go to a grappling tournament, you wouldn't see it kind of play out like this because you do have the caged enclosure and that changes the game just a little bit, just like it does in mixed martial arts. So it will allow a competitor like C4 Alexander, who has a little bit more size, to maybe bully his way into his opponent, keep him pressed up against the cage where Adcock would not be able to, to utilize his hips. He won't be able to sprawl and so forth. Um, at 170 pounds, Alexander <laughs> looking for a trip. He's gone for it a couple times. And it allows the competitors to, to play around a little bit more, if you will, to, to show a little bit more of the, the precise grappling that you may not see in mixed martial arts because obviously in, in MMA, they're slinging that leather, throwing those punches and kicks. Oh, big takedown there by Charlie Alexander into the guard of James Adcock. Wow. A, lot of, a lot of hand fighting initially, grabbing on the neck, some pushing, and then Alexander just exploded in. Yeah, and I think the grips are everything here. You see Alexander on the neck of James Adcock, putting the pressure on the guillotine from the top position. He aborts that, and now Adcock seated up against the cage here. Expect him to try to stand up, but again, Alexander going yeah. for that guillotine. You know, he's leaning back. And Adcock back to his feet, but he is still in trouble. You see that face is flush red. Yep. But again, C4 Alexander aborts. Great defense by Adcock. Now he goes one more Ooh. time. Three times a charm. Could it be? Well, Adcock able to turn and get out. Yeah, and you've got to watch here. Alexander, he could switch that right arm underneath and go for the Darce choke. And if Adcock turns up to, to his base, it could be an anaconda choke. There could be a transition there. So right now we're in north uh, south position. Alexander controlling. In a standard grappling match, he would be scoring points here. He would have been in, in a dominant spot. But as of right now, it is submission only. Now again, going after that guillotine. Adcock has been yeah. able now to it could be Yeah, it could be a north-south choke. Really, C4 Alexander has been on the prowl here from start to finish. Well, no finish yet, but <laughs> he, he is he's really making the making his presence known here. And, and again, if it goes the distance, it will be referee's decision on who controlled the fight and who won the fight. Absolutely. And right now, you know, you, you've got three to four guillotine attacks uh, in the bank for Charlie Alexander already. He's controlled the position. And we have uh, just under six and a half minutes left to go in this matchup. Big props to James Adcock for holding on. Now a Kimura attack. And Alexander advances now. A choke. Adcock defends that. And it has been a submission smorgasbord thus far for Charlie Alexander. Relentless here. That's it. That's it. Now, you see James Adcock kind of lacing up around, well, he was, 
kind of lacing up around the body of Alexander. Now he's keeping his arms in really, really tight. Alexander really not attacking that north-south choke. Really opting for that guillotine. It's one of my favorites as well. So I understand the, tr the strategy in this game plan uh, thus far. Now trying to attack that north-south, but again, it's not there. You really have to have a good angle. And just a different level of cardio for one 10-minute round. It's constant. Yeah, it, it's not easy, and especially underneath these these hot lights. Yeah. You know, usually you go to a, a submission grappling tournament. You know, you're on the mats with a bunch of other people. You're not on display in the same way here. Uh, and then again, those lights, they really take their toll because you're not setting things up with strikes, and you're not kind of, uh, you don't have that same rhythm. This is really, really smash mouth um, on your cardio. Just past the midway point in this pro grappling bout, one 10 minute round. It's one fall, and if it goes the distance, it will be the referee that will determine a winner. But it's been a dominant performance by Charlie C4 Alexander on top right now. It's James Adcock. Yeah, but perhaps a moral victory for, for Adcock thus far because he has really endured. What an onslaught of, of <laughs> of Alexander, and now he is in the guard. Now we may possibly see some attacks by, by James Adcock. We have not seen one so far. No. And that's how smothering Alexander has been. Adcock trying to reposition it. Maybe attack from the bottom. Alexander's had an answer to everything that Adcock tries to do. Four on to the throat now. There it is. There's your stack. There it is. Oh, oh well, trying to, like, like a body crucifix here, uh, mm. a body compressor, compression. Oh, uh, and C4, midsection too strong for that. Postures on the chin and, and breaks it down. Call it a TP. And, and no, no strikes, just for those that... Um, it, submission attacks. Yeah. It, that's why you didn't see any sort of blows from that position for those of you that are watching a pro grappling bout for the first time. And you see here, Alexander passes the guard of At James Adcock easily. That's it. And really, uh, he's very poised. Uh, Alexander, he could really, really lock down hard. It's not going to help him out, though. So what he's doing is he's, he's getting tight. He's getting his position. He's kind of loosening up here. Mm -hmm and allowing Adcock to move when he moves, that opens up those opportunities to attack the submission. Do you, do you think he's working towards trying to get the neck again in a guillotine, or what, what do you think Man, specifically if, if trying? If I could lay money on it, he is looking for that guillotine choke. Yeah. I mean, that is his move, and he's been quite close several times, but Adcock is very cagey and, and tough here, and he's been able to negate that. And it's really impressive that Alexander it tries so many different things from different angles, different positions. And, and he seemingly has something else to constantly go to to attempt that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he continues to move, and, and uh, Adcock is, you know, he is, he is staying strong here. But um, but ultimately, he's going to have to, in my estimation, he's going to have to get a step. Now, there it is, going after the, the guillotine yet again. Now he's kind of locked down, and he pulls it. It's a done deal. Charlie Alexander pulls <laughs> it out. Eight minutes. Yeah. Wow. And he went throat slash afterwards. Yeah, too. yeah. Well, it was a guillotine <laughs> choke, you know. So, it was. Yeah. Wow. Great dominant effort by Charlie Alexander. And yeah. the crowd, as he flexes, acknowledges C4. Yeah. And as I mentioned, you know, it was, uh, you know, he went after that several times. And he really had to uh, soften up. Uh, James Adcock because he was very, very cagey. He wasn't going uh, quietly into the night here. Uh, he fought it with all his worth, uh, but but um, Charlie Alexander was very, very patient, and ultimately he got the move he was looking for. Take us to his finish. Well, there it is. He went for the guillotine. Adcock got half the guard, but he found that angle, put that pressure in, and it was done. Wow. Excellent. And these are two MMA guys doing it in grappling competition. A very impressive finish. Yeah, and both of them excellent MMA fighters as yep. well. All right, ready to make it official in the cage here in Nashville. 
And our referee, Barry O'Neill, has both of the fighters, Charlie Alexander, picking up the pro grappling victory. We go back to the cage to make it official. Here's Jennifer. Your referee stops this bout at eight minutes even for your winner by guillotine submission. At the blue corner, Charlie C4 Alexander. 